This is Movie Town. Leslie Mitchell reporting. After a private service in the Tower of London for family mourners, the coffin containing Lord Wavell's mortal remains was borne out by men of his old regiment, the Black Watch. There was a 19-gun salute for the passing of the late Constable of the Tower. It must be over a century since a service chief has been accorded a funeral procession on London River. Now, with full escort, the coffin was laid on board an army launch for the journey to Westminster. Lord Wavell, whose defeat of the Italians in the Western Desert early in the war has become a classic, is mourned as a great soldier and statesman in many parts of the world by people in every walk of life. The last tributes paid to him were worthy of a lifetime spent in outstanding service to his country. At Westminster, the coffin was placed on a gun carriage to complete the journey to the Abbey, and Londoners lined the streets as pipers of the Black Watch, playing a lament, led the cortege. The pallbearers included Admiral of the Fleet Lord Cunningham, Field Marshals Alan Brooke, Montgomery and Auchinleck, as well as other senior service leaders. Among mourners marching in the procession were many other distinguished comrades, admirals, generals, air marshals. Though the funeral itself was at Winchester College, where he was educated, the service at the Abbey was the nation's last chance of paying full public honour to a great and gallant leader.